So tomorrow morning at the crack of way too early, I'm gonna try to get around Ford 45. I'm gonna try to get around Ford 45. Ford 45. Ford 45. I slept in. Crap! You're supposed to get there super early to get a spot. If you don't get there early, you might not even get a spot. But I have no option. We have to go. We've been waiting for this all week. We'll let's see what happens when we get there. Okay. See that? That's where we're going. People are still setting up. I think they're maybe like right here. Maybe. Let me just go ahead and talk with these nice people. You sit here. Film it. Good luck. All right guys, we made it. We're late, but we're gonna set up and hopefully make a buttload of money. <laughs> We've got clothing on the walls. We ran out of hangers. Ben's writing a very messy $2 water sign. We've got hats in the bucket. We've got $5 shirts in here. We've got the shoes. Got some more clothing and stuff over here. Now let's just make some sales. I think I just made a sale. Oh boy. I just went to get me and Ben some McDonald's. Just got back. They're buying stuff. How are y'all doing? $10. We made our first sales of the day. What's, what we got here? 35? 35, 35 bucks. Alright. We pay for gas and... Nah, no, no, no. No. We don't talk about that. I'm a good brother. It is 10 o'clock, we've made $35 so far. I, I don't even know when it ends, actually. I don't want to ask them. Hey, excuse me. You know when this, when it ends today? Okay. Gotcha. The man proceeded to tell me that there was actually another event going on in Pearl that same day, and that as a result, not near as many people were there. Our inventory just tripled. It just tripled. See this guy it just tripled. That guy just stopped this by. This old guy, he, I swear he's 80. He just stopped by and said, y'all want some clothes? <laughs> we're like, what? And he just gave us, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six yeah, bags? Yeah, six bags clothes. Seven and bags. there may be shoes in there too, because I felt some hard stuff. He said seven bags of clothing and shoes. Let's look. What the crap? What is that? Piece of crap. Okay. A lot of this is gonna be junk, no doubt. Well, what, what's this? Bro, we got a bag here. 10 bucks. <laughs> I think you said a lot of them were his wife's clothes. Yeah. Uh, a lot of purses. Oh my god. Purses? Okay. Yeah. Here. Oh my. <laughs> this corner mold. Oh, we got purses galore. We got like a. Well, that, that, that that's just, just weird. But, I think he was just dumping his junk on us. Alright, well after further review, uh, that guy just dumped all his junk clothes on us. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe a couple good things, but most of them look like just generic. And they're brand. all covered in dog hair, um, so nothing worth really looking through, getting our hands literally dirty and hairy. But touching. So, you know, bummer. <laughs> no dirt out of my shoulder. Yeah, we just throw it away. Got a couple purses out here that we might try. Like this is brand new in the bag right there, but it is. nothing extraordinary. So anyway, there's no one here. Pretty much. Keep you updated. Just sold our first water. It's two more bucks. <laughs> well, it kind of started to rain on us a little bit. A light, a light decision. So we lowered the tent, brought our clothes in. We just made 25 more bucks as well. What's the total to? Should be 60, 
two bucks today. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Please. Just gotta make a few more sales. Let's just make a hundred bucks at least. I mean, we're still not gonna meet our, our goal, but you know. Rain let up, so we have put shirts back up. It's only 11:20, so it could pick up a little later, but we'll see. It's 12:30. We have not sold anything since I think the, the hair thing. So we're sitting at $72, and it's just really there's nobody here. I would start packing up here in the next hour or so. Five minutes later, we just made a sale, 10 bucks. We're now to total $82. Can we just get $100? Please, 18 more dollars. We can do that. I know we can. Well, I got desperate. Went out and tried to sell some water. And uh, I'm happy to report I made a dollar. <laughs> uh, people thought it was free. I was like, you want some water? Yeah, give me one. And then I said there's a dollar, I'm like, ah, whatever. You don't have a dollar spent on water? Come on. What's wrong with our society? I mean, I guess I am selling water, but just a dollar. Anyway, now we're at uh, 83. Treat time. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. It's not a sack fire out here. Yeah, well, got some I almost had a sale, but in fact, I'm what? not. I'm not completely. Say what you said? I said I almost had a sale. You almost had a sale. Did you get it? No. Oh, no. Let's enjoy. Cheers. Mm. Good call on my part. So I changed our water prices from two dollars to one dollar. But I didn't realize that from afar, it looks like $21. There's Ben. He's just chowing down. Just one in the Freaking go! Just made another sale. Sold a pair of jeans, 15 bucks. Kaching, kaching. Ow, my eye. And I purchased at 135. All right, friends. It is officially two o'clock. We have made 135 dollars. Not what we needed to make, but it was a bad day for us to come because everyone else is at another event in Pearl. So I think if it would have been a normal day, we would have made. I feel confident we would have made like 300 bucks, which is what we need. Anyway, we're fixing to pack up. I might do some door dashing this evening to uh, round us off a good 200 bucks for the day. We'll see. I love how he's saying us as if I'm gonna get any profit. No, I'm not. I'm talking. Me and the audience are us. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about you. Just cut him out. Anyway, yeah, we gotta pack up and get the heck out of here because it's hot. Now he's talking about us. We have to pack up, not you guys. Yeah, now, now it's us. Well, we just had another sale. A guy came over, he was like collecting uh, t-shirts and he walked around the booth like five times. So I, I sold him three shirts for 45 bucks. He, he got a deal and uh, we got 180 bucks. I, I knew we shouldn't be too, uh, too hasty to pack up. <laughs> up in here we're actually just gonna go right across to a Kroger and ditch all this dog hair ridden clothing that was given to us by that old man maybe there's some good stuff in it but it's all like full of dog hair and 
I personally do not want to have anything to do with it. Made 180 bucks, actually. Take the taxes out of that. I think we're sitting at 168. So uh, it's time to get the Ranger. Okay, I definitely do not think it's we're supposed to just throw stuff in this dumpster, but we're gonna. Ben, grab the first bag so I can blame it on you if we get in trouble. Just discreetly, like, chuck it in. Get in the car, quick. Take a shower. I got home and then went door dashing for the rest of the day bringing in $26.50, which brought our total for the week to $747.54. Then when we add the $500 from the subwoofers I talked about in episode one, our total comes out to $1,247.54, just $141.95 short of our goal of $1,389.47. <sighs> But you know what? It's okay. We had a great time. A real journey was made, and life lessons learned. We had good times, and we had bad times. But the one thing we always had was DoorDash. And boy, did we dash over and over and over and over again. This week has been full of surprises. From my bulging tires, ha <laughs> ha, to me getting the news about my film being nominated in the festival. It's truly been a great time. And of course, I bought the camera regardless. <laughs> Come on! I bought it before the challenge started. That's not true. I didn't do that. But... Sweet redemption, I will never let you down.